Our abductors told us that he wants the government to allow them practice their religion. Uthman Dawal, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. It is no longer news that Azan Lawal, Uthman and other victims of Abuja Katrina train attack have regained their freedom from the hands of terrorists. Hazan Lawan Uthman was freed a few days ago shortly after a disturbing video of the victims being flogged on social media by the terrorists went viral on social media. In an exclusive interview with the Nation newspaper, Hazan Lawal Uthman said one of the major demands pushed by the terrorists is the inability of the government to allow them to practice their religion. He said the abductors were Boko Haram insurgents and they want to practice religion without restrictions, but the government is standing in on their ways. He also told the Nation newspaper that the attackers belief is ideologically and religiously driven. The grievances against the government include the fact that they want to practice their religion. The newspaper quoted the freed hostage as saying, Please, I don't understand. Nigeria allow Nigeria is a secular state that allows you to practice your religion. In fact, there is no place in Nigeria that you will go and you will not be allowed to practice. Whether it is Islam, whether it is um, traditional religion, whether it is um, Christianity, let us tell ourselves the truth. So when they say allowed to practice their law, why? What will be the problem? They can do this. They have been doing this thing in the northern part of Nigeria now. Ha! Oh, wow. This man is a liar. Are they not practicing their religion? Of course they do, but their agenda is to elamize the whole nation. Second, the Buhari and Erefai failed to fulfill the promise they gave to them when they employed them. <laughs> huh. Well, this issue is not funny. It's not one bit funny. If you think this issue is funny, think again. They are free to practice their religion, but cannot force it on other people. Simple. Uthman is hiding information. All they want to do is to Islamize Nigeria, of which Retired Air Commander Kunle Uluwamu has exposed them and Nigerian government. Your rap people should be grateful to God for using Sunday Adeyemo Ibo. If not him, no be waiting on a good talk be this. <laughs> okay. Your rabbis do not have a problem of religion. So being grateful to Ibo is besides the point. What kind of religion do they want to practice? Which means they are not clever with their demands. They are terrorists as well. Nigerian government will never allow such religion to take place in the country. Let them tell Nigerians what kind of religion. We all know that they are not Muslim because Islam does not kill. Islam does not permit all sort of their attitudes towards the country law or the Islamic contradiction. You don't introduce what does not what is not permitted in Islam because if this is their grievance against the government, I think they have the wrong they have approached the wrong channel and it is going to it is not going to be possible. Thank you. This is why Christians in Nigeria should see beyond their news with the issue of the if issue of Muslim Muslim ticket, especially Shetima being the VP. It is not going to be easy at all. But Nigeria is a secular state. Nobody is stopping anybody from practicing their religion, or are they ignorant? My dear, that is what I've been talking about. Too. This is what I've been saying. There is freedom of association, religion, and free speech granted by the Constitution, but the idea of forcing the entire country to practice Islam is unfounded and would not work. Instead, let everybody go their separate ways. All right, their religion is killing and the spread of blood, and that is what they want the government to allow them practice, but the use of force and death to indoctrinate non covert we are in a civilized world and non dead illiterate cannot lead us. <laughs> hey, wahala. Okay. I don't know Muslim, but they cannot force their religion on other people. They're not, they're not Muslims, and that's the truth. All right. Well, at the end of the day, the thing is, at this point, it is their stories becoming scarier and scarier. 
I just hope that all this eh, will just wake up and all this will just be a one bad story. This guy is not saying the truth, he's hiding some fact. They are Muslim and no one can stop that. Which religion again? But I'm disappointed in this guy who is a lawyer to still want to support them with what he had gone through in their cap captivity. Nonsense. Nobody hindered them from practicing the religion. Their real intention as service is violently impose their crazy interpretation of Islam on the country that of course is unacceptable. Don't you understand the message? He means that they are not allowed to Islamize Nigeria and that is their grievance. It's all the federal government drama. Let everyone who is a Nigerian, irrespective of religion or affiliation, come together and free Nigeria from murderers. These people do not believe and neither do they have trust in God. Their belief is on drugs and charm. If they believe in God, they will not shout and lawakaba only for them to open fire on the respondents. When Mazinam Dekado was crying like John the Baptist in 2014 concerning the agenda of, of Islamization of this country, everyone saw him as a madman. He is a Muslim, Muslim tickets is a compilation of the agenda, but will never allow this to happen. A communicate with the truth, there is more to what Terry said as no one is disturbing them in practicing their religion. A view, Nigeria is a free state that allows you to practice. Okay. This is a game plan. Both you that was kidnapped and all the Muslims in Nigeria now telling you people that this can never happen in this world. Which other religion do they want people to preach? Which other religion do you want to practice? Is it that people they are killing people? I don't believe this man. He's saying this increased religious conflict. Nigerians, we're going to use in our head. Sincerely. Practice an evil religion that only preaches killing and raping from Muhammad. I beg go. We should mind the utterance as I've said it before. The APC Christians will not say this now. My Lagos with the Mekuna come Islamize us. It's not funny at all. They are death worshippers and blood testing. All right, well, this is my own take on this issue. We should be very careful. Whether you are in FCTU, whether in any area, you should just be very, very careful. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.